recently Microsoft has released April updates for Windows 10 and right here I have already downloaded it from the website. As you can see I have 64 bit ISO image of that right here and I will be demonstrating how to install these updates manually to upgrade your system which is the fastest method than erasing all your personal files and apps and performing a clean install. Well if you want a clean install with this new update I have already made a web tutorial on my website for doing it. Link to which can be found in iCard button above and in description below. So to begin installing April update which can be done using update assistant tool from Microsoft website or downloading the ISO file using Windows Media Creation tool. But since I prefer doing it myself than using tools, the simplest and fastest way to download the ISO image is via the Google Drive links that are being provided in the description below. So download the ISO image appropriate to your system architecture which you can check by opening this PC and in the left sidebar just right click on this PC icon and select properties in the list. Now here you can check your system type and download specific bit ISO image. After downloading the ISO image we need to extract it using WinRare. Then we shall run this setup.exe file and if you have an active internet connection it will check for any available update after which click next since this is the latest update so it didn't download anything at this stage. Now depending upon your display language is US English or UK English you might or might not get this but just click refresh if you do. Now we are ready to install windows at this point. We decide whether to keep our personal files and apps or to erase all. By default it says that install windows 10 pro and keep personal files and apps. But in case you don't want your apps or files you might need clicking right here where it says change what to keep. And it will give you option like this. Since we need apps and files I will keep it as default first option and click next and it should start installation process. This took me around 15 minutes so I will skip the video. It can take more or less time for others. At the end of this process PC will restart and on boot it will start working on updates during which installation of default drivers like display drivers etc are being done and it can take up to 10 minutes during which PC will restart more than twice and later it will boot and start finalizing the installation which will not take more than 5 minutes. And a quick note don't turn off your PC during these procedures. So we have booted into windows april update and you can see this message on screen my kaspersky internet security says it has completed the windows 10 adaptation successfully meaning which i don't need to reinstall it as windows april update is a major system update some old apps might need an update now we can go ahead and delete the files that we extracted previously and my e drive looks like this because we had windows setup extracted on it and it will get restored itself after a reboot. So the welcome message on the screen shows some of the new features of this update which include timeline feature, file sharing with other devices and much more. So at last to check the build version of your update press the windows key and R key together to pop run box where we shall type WINVER and hit enter and it will show the current build of operating system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for more Google Drive links do visit our website.